Hello there, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And today, a scenario sent in by Kelvin through the submission form. And that's my kids going nuts in the background, if you can hear them. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes, prepare for top. This is uh, Ultimate Admiral Toddler Edition. Um, so, we're taking one British destroyer from 1940 up against two battleships, a battle cruiser, and a light cruiser of the German Empire from 1916. And, well, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, <laughs> chat is not particularly confident that I will be at the Lucifer. Um, yeah, again, apologies for the random giggling. <laughs> um, yes. Got to be a tribal. J class. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go for the leader, and we'll make it as big as possible. Um, uh, no, we'll go for the best stuff for now. There are a few build restrictions, by the way, um, but I'm going to kind of just see what I can do and stick to the spirit of it. Um, can we go diesel? 24. Or are we? 25 smoke. That's irritating. Is there another combination I can go for? Like, here goes good old steam. No, that, that, that doesn't change it anymore. Huh. Okay, it must be the oil you choose. Alright, we'll stick with diesel then. Uh, let's go to electric. All the best of that stuff. Uh, thank you very much for the follow there. Uh, Devoradori Almas. I think I got that right. The HMCS. Yeah, we could go for a Canadian ship. Uh, going on its way to uh, commemorate Jutland and <laughs> falls in a time vortex or something. Right. Um, guns. I fancy dual guns today. A bit of whimsy. Uh, oh yeah, false. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for two standard funnels. Like that. Um, gives me only three smoke interference. And speed-wise, 38 knots, which I think is fine. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, was that recently? I'll need to check that. I'll get your name added to the videos. Um... Do, 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 do. Trouble is balancing the ship. Because, like, if I stick a quintuple launcher on the back, <laughs> the weight offset gets pretty bad. But I'm going to need those torpedoes to kill the enemy. So. Hmm. where the depth charger launches get really awkward as well. Can I put them in the middle? I can, but they have a terrible fire arc. I'll tell you what, let's go down to one funnel. Uh... <laughs> it's going to be a slow destroyer at 33 knots. Um yeah, and put it put the torpedo launchers in the middle. Quintuple like that. We only have a small halfway offset. Uh thank you for the follow. Uh B Benny twenty one two or two hundred and twelve. Yeah, use triples in the front. Hmm. Gonna need to do something. 
can push this one forward. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and that... There you go. Now I have four weight offset. That means more torpedo launchers. Can I squeeze another one in there? No, I can't. Damn it! Okay. Let's be sensible. But, uh, yeah, let, let us go for the triples then. What I'd quite like to do, actually, if I can get this right back, and this right back, without impacting on the fire arc too much. I'd like to fit another tube on the back. There we go. And I know that gives me an offset. I know. There we go. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Um, 24. No. Oh, jeez. How about if I make a, that a quad? Makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> ah! Chunky rear end. Torps on the front. Yeah, possibly. Might have to go with that. Uh, I'm just doing this for role playing purposes, the advanced radio. Um, let's go with fasts because they're always funny. High TNT just to see what damage we can do. We're going to go with increased torpedoes. I've gone overweight. Of course, I have. Oh, I don't even have bulkheads yet. No, no. <laughs> Single hull bottom, we don't need that. We do need maximum bolt kids. Uh, hmm. I might go with a dual triple setup in that case. There we go. And. <laughs> There may well be some semblance of an attempt at armor. God damn it, right. I'm going to dump the radio. Apologies. Because this is a unusual scenario. I'm going to need all the advantage I can get. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hey, this one, Tiny Nelson. Uh, oxygens? I mean, I could, but uh, have you seen me trying to hit things at range with a torpedo? <laughs> okay, we'll try. They're, they're heavier, though. Uh, if I'm going oxygens then I don't want them to be easily detected, so I'll go 18 inch. And I'll go for a bigger spread. A little bit overweight. Uh, hmm. I don't know what else to drop. Go down to many bulk kits. Uh, more armor. <laughs> They're not deck extended armor. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. I think. <laughs> Nelson's right hand. Tiny Nelson's right hand. There you go. Put them all together. <laughs> uh, you like my ship? Thank you. Uh, sounds like someone else likes my ship too. 
<laughs> let's um, let's try it out. Let's see if this is uh, this is gonna work or if this is gonna go horribly. Hmm. It's gonna be a tricky one though. It's gonna be really tricky. Right, edge. You want to place your bets, chat? <laughs> place your bets now. Toddler edition. <laughs> yes, indeed. Todd uh, toddlers are cheering me on. Uh, as befits all future apples, they're currently in the bath. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Let's go. But it's actually a lot of firepower. Fifth, uh, 12 5 inch guns. Firing super heavy high TNT shells. We might actually be able to damage them with purely the guns, but. Um, we'll uh, have to wait and see how we do. Right. We do have the advantage in that we can probably spot them before they could spot us. Will I get yeeted in the first 20 minutes? Pretty equal. <laughs> first ship's actually over this way. That's what the radar is telling me. Ah, I tell torpedoes telepathic. Sadly not. Nor are they guided. <laughs> Uh, someone with more knowledge of uh, naval warfare than I can can tell me um, when guided torpedoes became a thing. But we're opening up on them. <laughs> How far away is that ship? 10 kilometers. Five inch guns are in range. It's quite a lot of. That's an interesting layout. <laughs> that's a very interesting layout. Because the main guns are here. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen the AI produce a ship which has no centerline main guns. Maybe we've been sent by the, the TVA to eliminate this from the timeline or something. But oh my word. The hell? So this is, oh, this is a nine inch gun. So these are technically main guns. And then you've got 11s, an eight. What the, F, what the fuck is that? It's an abomination. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 1866, but I mean like um, proper ones, not man guided or anything weird like that. Like um, your uh, kind of wire guided style ones. And then, of course, it then even later than that was uh, kind of self, self seeking ones. Obviously, they're still wire guided to target, and then they go out to do, do, do it from there, but. No, nope, they haven't spotted us yet. I think they, I mean, they know roughly where we are. Because they get the same enemy smokes. They can see our smoke. But, um... Ah! Speaking of smoke. They've seen us. Oh, they're going that way, are they? Alright. Turn around. See what their uh, torpedo detection's like. Ow. Aim. Fire if you have a good solution. Get those off. Get out.
just let that ship sail away. I'm looking here to see if if they detect. So they've lost sight of my ship. They detected the torpedoes and sailed right into the gap. <laughs> this is why I don't use long-range torpedoes. <laughs> oh yeah, four inch blow up a dreadnought. I think we might have to do it like that because typically the game is being like, fuck you and your dead torpedo me. Remember I only get three shots uh, from each launcher. Uh, so it's going to make things pretty interesting. Yeah, sadly, you get no um, ability to control the spread. This is the battle cruiser, which uh, again is quite interesting. It's our range now to the Bismarck, no less. Uh, five kilometers. Okay, I don't have any torpedoes loaded, of course. This is purely to uh, entertain myself. Shoot them a little bit with some five inch guns. Come on. Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> and to be this to say, because well, the triple launcher will be ready quite soon. Come on, triple launcher. Torpedoes away. Off. Target the Gnice now, please. With the torps, anyway. an 11 inch shell that hurt a lot it's a boatload of single torque launches yeah oh I sank <laughs> hmm well that didn't go very well did it <laughs> huh uh, boatload I mean I could do I could go for just torp spam Uh, I'm prepared to give it one more shot. See if we can uh, see if we can get away with doing that. Let's go for yeah. Let's go for the two funnels. And I want more speed. Thirty-eight. That's what it was. Uh... <laughs> Um, torpedo launchers. I want a bunch of singles. He said, we can "Go for that." Oops. Three on the back. Uh, one on the front. Maybe. Yeah, we'll put a front launcher on. It's always funny. And a gun. Uh, actually, I think we can make these double launches if we wanted. And a second one. Lovely stuff. How about a triple three inch? Uh, tri triple two inch. Lovely. Uh, maximum bulkheads this time. All the armor we can get. 
And that's probably it. Should try this out. Uh, in this game, is there aircraft goes? No. So, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, you can think of it existing kind of in an alternate kind of universe where not only did Carrius never come into existence, but I don't think, like, military aircraft really did beyond, like, spotters and that. Um... And the naval treaties of the 1920s never happened either. It just keeps getting... Uh, everything just kept, kept going. Uh, and just getting bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger. So you can do some really ahistorical stuff. Uh, your screen was frozen. Uh, so, Tiny Nelson's right hand got smacked by a massive um, <laughs> to, uh, got hit by an 11 inch shell and sank. I, no I just noticed I didn't change the torpedo type. Um, yeah, I got yeeted and flooded out. Yeah, exactly right. Oh my goodness. Hello there, first place onion. <laughs> Haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much for... How many was that? Ten tier one gift subs. Thank you very, very much. Much appreciated. How are you? <laughs> and... What abominations have we got today? This is the same nonsense. What is the AI smoking? What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. What the? <laughs> okay, the AI is is drunk. Totally, totally drunk. <laughs> what is that? So we've got turret, guns for turrets. Teeny tiny funnels. Just what? What is this? <laughs> oh my word. Um speaking of. Yeah. Let's uh, keep keep rolling on in. Smoke! Now, the enemy will probably go on a turn, but I'm not seeing it. It's just a really bad angle to launch from. <laughs> Thank you very much for the gift sub there, uh, Jack1097. Very, very kind of you. I know, exactly. It's like, this is like the worst time, <laughs> the cursed timeline. Uh... I think pretty much everyone in the chat is now a subscriber. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. We've got to save. Let's see if we can't actually get some torpedo hits in. And away we go. Torpedo's off. Get out. We'll wait for a reload this time. Not sure all of them fired, but that's absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, skedaddle. They're looking like they've gone bad as a miss. That is an actual miss. See? This is why the, the AI is bloody good at using torpedoes. 
but see when you try and use them. Like, that is ridiculous. Got like a 30 year tech advantage ish. High end torpedoes. Sneaky, they didn't see them. Fired from pretty close range for th this torpedo type, at any rate. Not historically long range for a torpedo hit. But still, it's like they were fired on save. It's like, what else am I supposed to do? I genuinely. <laughs> Uh Yeah, shoot them with a two-inch gun. Ow! This is left hand is in trouble. Uh, we have no good shots on anything. Right, fire at the session. Zach's in, I believe. Something like that. off. Get out. Yeah, the, the, the light cruiser did try to torpedo me. Uh, is that actually what you tried to say, Mickey Stein? <laughs> yep, smack mine in 11 inch shell again. Like, it might be a max armor destroyer, but it still goes down if it gets hit. Especially like that. Smoke. Go and check on those torpedoes. Wherever they've gotten to. Uh, well, hmm. We might get a hit. But probably not. No. Tell you what, I'm going to rebuild the ship. Uh, I like this sort of, but uh, we're going to change this. We're going to go five torps. We're going to go super big, and we're going to go fast. I don't like oxygens. Oh, okay. Did you press uh, request the song? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't have that set up. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. That's a new thing. Um, I, I've never tried to do that before. So that's Streamlabs claiming that it'll play songs and things. I I, I probably wouldn't turn it on because um, for YouTube... Uh, it will probably ban me forever if I try and do something like that. Right. Um, unless it's like some copyright free nonsense. Let's go with a couple of triple tubes. And a double. There we go. We're going to go for that. Uh, 102%. Never mind. Keep that one as a single then. So... Triple, triple, single, and let's go. You copied what this? I I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it didn't work. Right. <laughs> Let us try again. Torpedoes off. We'll do this. <laughs> Sit here forever trying to do this. Right. This time we're going with the good old FU torpedo. Fast 24 inch. <laughs> Delivered down the enemy's throat. Third time's the charm. <laughs> uh, you just posted a big old link. Mickey Stein. I can't I can't look at that whilst I'm playing, I'm afraid. And recording this anyway. Alright. Does this remain the cursed timeline? Well, that's the least cursed. Uh light cruiser looks reasonable. 
bone for, for this era. It's a semi-armoured cruiser, of course. Again, if you can hear the chitter-chatter of tiny little children in the background, those are my uh, midship people in training. <laughs> yeah, 14-inch guns make destroyers go boom. Yeah, definitely. Smoke. Target. <laughs> he fired a torpedo at me. Rude. Very, very rude. Round we go. You forgot about the kids. <laughs> you thought you were going crazy. No, they're in the next room. Um, so if you could hear them, that's what's going on. Uh, da, da, da. I want a torpedo something. Yeah. Torpedo's off. Thank you, single tube. Yeah, he used their own like cruiser for a shield. If, although it might be sinking said shield in a minute. Oh Yep. Bye bye. Good stuff. Right. Let's zip around. And hope we don't get blown up. <laughs> At least we killed something. So this must be the battle cruiser, I guess. And then we have the battleships. Uh, obviously, something uh, very amusing going on. <laughs> oh my goodness! Right. Come on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they. Uh, crap. 14 inch gun. No. No, we're fine. We're fine. It's only on the front. It's fine. It's just flesh ruined. Right, that battle cruiser, the Multica. I think they're close enough to, for us to give it a go. Come on, what are you two giggling at? Speed is off. Hmm. <laughs> they they've seen them. Ow. Still only at the front. <laughs> uh, yeah, 5,000 damage from a torpedo hit. Let's see how much we get off this. It won't be quite as much because uh, battle cruisers have a higher resistance value. But uh, I think we're going to get three hits. Yep. Three hits. Beautiful. And flooding all over. Minimum bulkheads. I think the Multke, Multke is uh, toast, but uh, 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 oof. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. We killed the bath cruiser and we killed the light cruiser. <laughs> damaging them with a two inch gun. Still have to wait for a reload. Oh. Ow! Oh my word. That hurt. Ow, that hurt more. Uh, as soon as you get a torpedo, you can fire it. Torpedo away. Mm, 
No. Okay, that's turn. Oh my! Are you kidding me? Yes. Hello. Very dead, which apparently is hilarious. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.